Hello my friends, I have another book for you today. This one is called Moon Rabbit. I've actually never read this book, but I chose to get it from the library because I liked the, uh, the picture on the cover of the book. I know you all know that often I choose my books that way, where I start by looking at the cover and then I look through and I look at the pictures. And if the pictures make me feel some kind of happy, like these do, then I pick it up and I bring it home and I check it out. So we're gonna be experiencing this book together for the first time. Again, it is called Moon Rabbit. And I chose this book not only because it's got great pictures, but because it has a rabbit in it. And a rabbit is an animal that you can have as a pet. And that is what we are talking about. So let's see what Moon Rabbit is about. There's that first picture, I like that. He is an awfully cute rabbit. Little Rabbit liked living in the city. She had her own place to stay, her favorite cafe, and so many things to see and do. I already really like these pictures. Look at this little downtown area. This is all these places that the rabbit can go. But at night when everything was quiet, and Little Rabbit was all alone. She would look up at the moon and wonder if there was someone out there. Someone she could play with, laugh with, have fun with, someone just like her. It would be nice to meet someone, to meet another Little Rabbit, she thought. Let me open up my curtains so I can get a little more light in here. Woo! There we go, now you can see those pictures much better. Excellent. Ooh, this next picture is beautiful. When the city became very busy, Little Rabbit would go to the park and read her book. One day, as Little Rabbit read, she heard the most beautiful music floating in the air. She lay back and listened. The park was so peaceful and the sun was so warm that Little Rabbit's eyes began to close and very soon she was fast asleep. What did I tell you? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that tree. I love this little pink tree hiding in the background. Are there more? Yeah, there's more over there. Oh, they're so pretty. I love that picture. That makes me happy. When Little Rabbit woke up, the sun had set. The moon was shining brightly. It was past Little Rabbit's bedtime. But in the distance, she could still hear music. And it was the kind of music she liked. So Little Rabbit picked up her book and followed the sounds through the trees. There she goes. And there she saw a rabbit, a brown rabbit who was playing a guitar, making music that made Little Rabbit want to dance. So she stayed for a while. Another rabbit. She was hoping to meet another rabbit. That's so exciting. As Brown Rabbit played, Little Rabbit danced. Then Little Rabbit told tales of the city and Brown Rabbit listened. Together they watched the changing moon until the birds sang to the morning. And for a while, Little Rabbit forgot about her life back in the city. She made a friend. That's so exciting, friends. And one of them lives out in the country and one of them lives in the city. I wonder if Little Rabbit's gonna go back to her home in the city. The two rabbits had picnics in the sunshine and games of hide and seek. They made each other laugh and Little Rabbit was happy to have found a new friend. Look at all those fun things they're doing together. It makes my heart so happy to see. They're obviously very special friends. That's awesome. But then one dark night, Little Rabbit saw the city lights glowing in the distance and suddenly felt sad. The city is so beautiful, she sighed. Brown Rabbit was quiet. How could anything be as beautiful as the moonlit park, he thought. So White Rabbit really does want to go back to the city because she finds it so beautiful and he's confused. He doesn't feel like anything could be more beautiful than where they are. So I wonder what they're going to do. Brown Rabbit didn't like to see how his friend was feeling so sad, so he played his guitar and danced around Little Rabbit. He even stood on his head any time to make her laugh or to see her smile. 
but there was something he could not do to make her happy. It's time for me to go home, said Little Rabbit. What a good friend. He's trying so hard to make her feel better. But she just wants to go home. It's time. So early the next morning, Little Rabbit returned to the city. She said goodbye to she said goodbye to the brown rabbit, hopped in a car, in a taxi cab, and went back to the city. Back to her home, back to her favorite cafe, and back to all the things she'd like to do and see. She no longer gazed at the moon and wondered if there was someone out there. Another little rabbit, just like her. Because she knew that there was, and he was coming to visit the very next day. Look at that. She's standing outside waiting for Brown Rabbit. He hopped on a bus and he came to visit. I think that's so special. Now he gets to see the city just like she got to see the park. What a beautiful story. And look at this. Okay, so here's the front of the book. Here's the back of the book. And watch this. When you open up the book, it's one big picture of them in the park. Cool, huh? I love when books do that. That was a really fun book. I really liked those pictures. I really liked the way the pictures made me feel. And the story made me really happy. I'm really glad that Little Rabbit found a rabbit friend. And I'm even more happy that she could go back home and be happy and that her rabbit friend could visit her. So maybe they'll go back and they'll visit each other and they'll still be able to be in their homes and be happy. And that's a beautiful thing. This story made me happy today. I hope it made you happy. And I can't wait to read to you guys again. Bye, guys.